home where there is one herb above all others. The greatest herb I'd say ever to be invented or exist. What would you say that was, Mark? It got to be garlic. Without a shadow of a doubt, yeah? No, definitely <laughs> garlic. No, no, it's garlic. definitely garlic, yes. It's not just used heavily in Chinese takeaway cooking or traditional Chinese cooking. It's used all over the world in all styles of cooking because it is the pure deliciousness. Yes, it is. It just, with the garlic, it just gives it a lift a dimension with it. Yeah, what is it about garlic? Oh, I love the garlic. The smell of it and the taste of it. Anything, yeah. roast or fry, flush fry, uh, hot oil, whatever. Yeah. It's garlic. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Thumbs up to garlic. Anyway, on today's episode, we're teaching you how Chinese takeaways use the different types of garlic, specifically four main types. What's that, Mum? Four main types are with garlic powder, fresh crush, and Dehydrated, de, dehydrated, dehydrated, dehydrated slash rehydrated, and blended. So the first that's used mostly, this can differ between takeaways, but in our experience, most takeaways are using the garlic puree, aren't they, Mark? Yeah, garlic puree. We often refer to it as aged garlic, just because when it's used, it's normally been blended and takes three or four days to be used up, and the aging process actually makes the garlic better as it goes along. Now to use it properly you need to wait for what? Uh, maturity. Maturity which takes about 24 hours. Yes. You'll see the example here all you do is you just crush up some garlic, take off those hard bits at the bottom, then what do you do Ma? Oh, you, you can blend it. Yeah, then you, put, yeah you put them in the blender <laughs> then you add a quarter teaspoon of salt, that's a whole bowl, but bowl. there's a whole bowl in there and then you just place some veg oil until it slightly submerges the garlic. Press blend, hey presto, you've got your garlic puree. Some places will use fresh garlic puree every day, not many. Most will be using aged garlic. So straight from the blender, you can see it. This is one that's a week old and this is one that's a few weeks old. You don't want it to be in the fridge for more than two weeks if I'm honest. But I just wanted to show you how it changes in colour, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, quite drastically. Yes, it can. Yeah, it can. But sometimes it sort of depends on the garlic as well, though. Mm -hmm. Some will, will turn into a darker color. Yeah. Some will take longer. Yeah. It all depends on on the on the garlic. The blended garlic puree is normally used in the dishes with sauces. Is it sauces? Yeah, it's yeah, sauces. sauces. I didn't want to use the word sauce. Just with sauce, you know. So main dishes essentially. Yes. And some places we use it for salt and chili chicken, but um, yeah, so anything with sauce in. Now there is another type of garlic that's heavily used for sauce in this way, and that is the dehydrated garlic bag, which you then rehydrate. And all you do to rehydrate them is what, Ma? Put boiling water over it to cover the... Yeah, you need quite a bit because they will nearly triple in size. They will yes. absorb all that water, and then you just simply drain them off. That's right, just drain it off. But oh, I forgot to mention, they have to sit for at least 20 minutes, otherwise they won't uh, rehydrate properly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A lot of people ask, what's the difference in the flavour to both? Well, that's a great looking question. It's quite different, isn't it? One has got the bits in it, it's got the texture. It's not just texture. Like, so the rehydrated garlic granules have, like, have a crunch, they're harder, but also the flavour is, it's a bit like you have a Granny Smith apple and you have a Red Delicious. They're both apples, they both taste like apples, but they have two different flavours. The puree and the aged puree and the rehydrated garlic taste like garlic, but I'd say the rehydrated garlic is more the artificial flavour you'd get if you ate a packet of crisps or something flavoured with garlic, whereas the blended garlic tastes like garlic, but not fresh garlic. <laughs> fresh garlic has a completely different flavour, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. that's right. Fresh garlic is used in some Chinese takeaways. Remember, Chinese takeaway cooking isn't restaurant cooking, is it, Mark? Uh, no, uh, the fresh garlic, you can you normally, I think they use it they're mostly in the, actually, the... That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. Fresh garlic is used sometimes 
in a small amount of Chinese takeaways, it's not really used because it's a lot of work in order to cut it up finely with a knife and there's a lot you have to use. So what tends to happen is the puree is used over that. There is one dish which you will quite often see have fresh garlic in and that is either salt and pepper dishes or salt and chilli dishes. Those dishes, wherever you go, can be made with three different types. It depends on what takeaway you go to. The puree, one will use the rehydrated and one will use fresh. Other than that, fresh garlic isn't really used. There's one more kind of garlic, garlic powder. Normally used when making a sauce base. So if you're gonna make kung pao or something, you'd put a teaspoon of garlic powder in that as a premix or as a marinade. Again, not really in Chinese takeaway cookings. Cookings, cooking are people velveting. Some will, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying 90% of them aren't. They're using pre-steamed or they're poaching it themselves. So if your takeaway does that, you have a very good takeaway. Yes. If you don't know what velveting is, comment below and we will do a separate video on that because that's a whole other ball game. There's so many different ways to do it and we'll cover them all in one video for you. So the garlic powder itself, although it isn't velveted on chicken very often, beef is nearly always velveted and that, I'd say 90% of the time, has some form of garlic powder on it. Not always, but most of the time. You don't really tend to cook with a garlic powder because garlic powder has a tendency to want to clump as well. So if you put a teaspoon of garlic powder into something you're gonna cook quickly, it won't dissolve and you'll just be left with tiny little lumps. If you're cooking long stews and stuff, that does well, not dissolve, but the water does get through to it to break it to pieces in a wok in three minutes, that's not gonna happen. Garlic powder is used for marinating. Uh, so I hope that's covered all the garlic, Ma. Can you think of any more? I think we cover most of the garlic, how, how to use it, what it's using, what's the purpose on it. Yeah, I think we have to. Well, I know this is a lot to take in. Right. If you want a more in-depth... I'd say more written version, because I'm the one writing them. The written version of this whole video, I'll do a free uh, post on our cookery school website, which is chinandchoosecookeryschool.com. There are different tiers, most tiers um, have their perks. I do free posts on there every now and then, but not very often, but I'll make sure this one is free. So you can just head over there and have a look and then maybe think about signing up if you want to support the channel. It helps us make more content, better content. If you don't want to support in that way, by all means, just hit the like button. That helps so much too. Sharing massively helps and commenting does as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Take care guys, until next time, ma. Happy cooking, happy eating! And I'm off to actually eat some garlic now. <laughs> Bye! Bye!